Hey team, Luke at Crusader Machining here. I have a file that I need to use, but it has no handle. What do I do? Have someone make one? No. I work in a machine shop. Let's hop on the manual lathe, hop on the manual mill. Let's do a quick little project. Let's go. Let's get this spot drill loaded up. Put a nice big chamfer on there to lead my drill. So now we're gonna drill for the tang and this is the file that we're gonna make the handle for. Real fine cut, I use it for fine, low pressure work. So this tang is square. I got a drill that's about the same diameter as that tang cross corners. That's what we're gonna drill it with. It'll almost be like a slip fit, but we're gonna use set screws to hold it down. The depth of it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna use set screws and it can almost bottom out, but I eyeballed it on the drill about where I wanna go with the depth. And I'm just doing a little bit of a peck so I don't melt. This is Altem is the material. Semi-translucent, almost like an acrylic, but it can melt. Don't ask me to apply this depth. Beautiful. And it's a little snug fit right at the bottom. Now when we're gonna put in the set screws, I'm gonna hold it on this five, with this 5C collet, which is 13 16 and our stock is basically one inch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn down this front section to 13 16 The length of the handle doesn't really matter much for me. I just need something that the tang is not going to dig into my hand when I use it. So let's rock and roll. And I'm gonna set my feed rate. I wanna go about six per rev. So I'm gonna set it here to our C7. As you can see, South Bend 14, baby. C7, C. Bring this up to seven. Here's our quick change gearbox, as you can see, that sets either our TPI or our feed. So I'm gonna be using the auto feed to turn that down to 812 or 1316 to fit my 5C. The method I'm gonna implore to turn this down is gonna be what I call check, a cut, check. Now, as you can see, that's my turn. Get that rat nest out of there. And I did not move that on X. I did not move it with my X slide. I moved it just with my Z to get out of the way. So now I can measure it, measure the size with my calipitos. Go in here and use this ancient cross dial. Dial it in to hit 812. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do that other side the same.
Now I'm going to check the fit for the collet. Beautiful. Now that diameter's turned to get ready for the next. Lazy man's chamfer tool. That spindle cranking, don't forget the safety glasses. That's so gonna make a little corner break. Boom. So this front side, as you can see here, what's done. My file's gonna go in there like that. So this back end is kinda gonna be parted off, but what I'm gonna do is flare out this back handle just a little bit. On here. And I'm gonna do what I like to call freestyle machining, nothing fancy, no print. The, the functional handle aspect of it is essentially turned for what it's going to be, but I want to make that end a little bulbous. It's nice about these quick change holders. Alora style tool post is what you would know them as. Quick change, go from a turn to a cutoff. Now let's part this sucker off. Now we are getting ready, this is all turned on the lathe. We're getting ready to put our set screws in. I made these little brass set screws years ago. And, but our question is, how am I gonna hold this on the mill to spot drill tap and spot drill tap and have it exactly 180 opposing? That's where this comes in handy. 5C collet block, but how would I hold this in there? Uh-oh, whatever do I do? Little keyway, locks in. And then what I do is put, the, put it through the back. Boom, done. And I'm gonna load this in the vise, use a little spanner to tighten that down. Spot drill tap, flip it 180, spot drill tap. Let's roll. Instead of having, I'm only doing drilling so I'll be able to easily change from spot, drill, tap. Got that tightened in there now. Now because my location is not what I consider mission critical, I will be eyeballing my center and my location of the set screw. So I'm off, if I'm off center, don't crucify me. That looks good. Spot. Now we're gonna get ready to tap this is the magical tool to line up that tap, spring-loaded tap center. And what this allows us to do is to maintain our tap, stays straight throughout our hand tapping operation. And yeah, I know, could I power tap it? Yes. Yes, I probably could, but with how soft and delicate this material is, I don't want to take a chance. All right, now let's flip over, do the other side, tap hold, 
What's nice about this indexer, with that little block, I mean, works like an indexer. Perfect 180 degree. Like I had said before, I will reiterate, we do not have a print. Today, we are having fun. Use my quill again. All right, so two tapped holes. File handle is done, right? Wrong, not yet. Let's make this beauty shine. I don't want to damage it with the jaws, so what I use is a very sophisticated trick called put a piece of paper over the part to clamp it. All right, so we're almost at our finished product. My, my beautiful, wonderful wife bought this for me with my boys for Father's Day years ago. I got the brass screws that I made years ago. Got the flats from the file handle. We are going in and we'll tighten them down. Just to, and it, like I say, that the tang of that file is like a slip fit. When it gets down to the bottom, you can feel it. Now we're tight. And there you have it. My piece de la resistance. Is it perfect? No. Is it beautiful? Not really. But I made it. And it's perfect for my little hands. There we go. That's how we went from this to this in 35 easy steps. I love the way that turned out. I love making file handles. On one of my shorts earlier, I showed a bunch of the different handles that I've made. These are all out of wood but I wanted to make it out of this Altim I had. Super soft, super cool, and I could get that really darn clear, but this for me was good enough. Now I have a handle to do my fine work. So thank you for watching the video. This is Luca Crusader Machining. Follow me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, of course here at YouTube. Drop a comment. I love making stuff. I want to make some more and feature it. Give a like, give a follow, give a share, and we will see you next time.